I'm Dr. Trevor Gerlach. I'm the new associate veterinarian here at uh, Tampa's Larry Park Zoo. And this is our nine-week-old Florida Panther kitten that we've been taking care of. Um, so the kitten was found at about a week of age down in Naples uh, by the biologists at Florida Fish and Wildlife. Um, he was found basically abandoned by the mothers, lethargic and cold, and so it was taken to a local um, small animal facility where he was triaged and um, basically treated for three weeks to get him um, back on his feet. Um, he arrived here at Lowry Park at about three to four weeks of age, um, where we kind of took over his 24-hour care. Um, and since then, um, he's basically just been uh, round the clock feedings and, and monitoring, and we've been watching him develop um, throughout the time. He came in at about 2.8 pounds, um, and now at nine weeks, he's just over 10 pounds. Um, so, pretty much at this stage, he's just all growth and play. Um, so when the kitten came to us, he was on um, a diet that was pretty much consisting of just powdered uh, artificial milk formula called Esbolac. It's something that we give dogs and kittens. Uh, and he was on that for approximately six weeks or so before we transitioned him onto a meat-based diet. Uh, we transitioned him over a week or two, and now he's pretty much eating 100% meat. Um, and so he's now bounding as far as weights and size go. Um, he's kind of really taken off on us. Um, We've backed off on how often we're having to feed him, so he goes about six to eight hours now um, between feedings. Um, so today we brought the kitten outside, and this is one of his first experiences outside. And so as you can imagine, there's lots of new sights and sounds, and um, everything's new to him and exciting. Uh, he's been in our clinic for about nine weeks now. Uh, and uh, in the wild, this is pretty kind of consistent with what mom would do. So she would hide him away in a den for a couple, a couple months or so as he's growing, and she's out hunting, um, and she'd come back intermittently to feed him. Um, so we've kind of mimicked that with our care with him in the clinic, and um, now we're kind of venturing him outside um, to get used to the, the sights and sounds because he'll be in an outdoor enclosure at his new facility. Um, so the plans for the kitten, uh, he basically will stay with us for approximately another week or so and then at 10 to 11 weeks he'll uh, transition up to Homosassa State Wildlife Park, which is about an hour, hour and a half north of here. Uh, and he will be on exhibit there and he'll serve as an ambassador for his species. So he's non releasable in the wild, but he will serve a very important purpose, um, educating people on um, the plight of the Florida panther. Mm -hmm. 